It's time to build a Blubberbot, a floating DIY robotic species. Blubberbot are light-seeking, helium-filled balloons that graze the landscape in search of light and cell phone signals. After picking up your Blubberbot from the Maker Shed, you'll want to inspect the contents. Included is some great documentation, including a parts list and also the tools you'll need to build your Blubberbot. This will be an overview of building your Blubberbot because there's quite a few steps to build one. The brains of the Blubberbot is the PCB assembly, and we'll do that first. You'll find a number of resistors, and that's the first step, is to go ahead and solder them in place. And the next step is to put in place all of the capacitors. There's also a transistor that needs to be soldered in place, and a few chips, including a couple of motor drivers that will power our Blubberbot. The external components will be plugged into some pin headers, so they'll be snapped off in pairs of two. There's also a crystal timer that will solder in place, and a couple of switches, so our PCB assembly is complete. The Blubberbot is propelled by a couple of small motors with little propellers on them, so they'll be wired up, along with two LEDs and our light sensors. There's also a cell phone flasher that will allow the Blubberbot to respond to cell phone calls. And there's the feeler that, when bumped, will cause the Blubberbot to reverse direction. The PCB assembly and the motors will be installed in a plastic carriage that will be mounted to our Blubberbot. We'll need helium to inflate our blubber bot, and I got mine at a local party store. We've mounted everything on the blubber bot, and it's time to turn it on and test it out. The light sensors on the blubber bot allow it to search for the brightest light source, and when the feeler is bumped, it will change directions. You can also interact with the blubber bot by making a call with a cell phone. It'll play a song from its speaker in response. So that's how to make your very own DIY robotic species in search of light and cell phone signals the blubber box.